Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today is day two of Haw Palooza Week. And today I have an Ulta haul. Woo! <laughs> so anyway, I did um, a little shopping at the Ulta store and online. So let me start showing you what I got. And um, if you would, if you see my last haul which i'll put a link or i card up here um i have some reviews of some of those products that was in that last haul that i'm going to share with you also and the reason why i'm doing that is because some of those products that was in the last haul prompted me to purchase some of the stuff that's in this haul so when we get to those items i'll explain and then you'll understand so anyway, um, had a little shopping day where I got to go by myself to Tulsa and do some shopping. So I went into um, a new Ulta store that had just been built. It was so nice and pretty and clean and just very nice. And I, I probably spent like an hour in there just it's taking my time and looking at everything. But anyway, I came across in their Korean skincare section, which is not very big. And um, note to Ulta, y'all need to expand your Korean skincare line. Anyway, um, they had a brand that I had not heard of, but um, some of the products were on clearance. So I thought, well, I'll try them because the, the price points was really good. And it's this brand here, which is called um, Nuni Nani. It's N O O N I. Um, so they had what they call a snowflake cleanser that was on clearance. And it looks like this here. It's in a white tub. The um, jar or the lid kind of screws off. Then, of course, it has the little scoop, which it's, I've been using it and then the little protective cover and it just looks like this here which looks like almost like a um a coconut cleanser smells very nice um just a very slight floral scent to it and i will tell you this does take off the makeup very well i don't have any complaints about the performance of it um but my issue with it is um I am a bath taker and unfortunately with this if I use it in the bath when I go to rinse it 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 rinses off nice and it leaves your face very soft but the issue is then when your tub in your bath water you'll have clumps of this cleanser with your makeup in it so you have clumps of your makeup kind of floating around i don't like that so i would suggest either using it in the shower or using it at your sink before getting into the bath anyway then the next product from nuni also is repair repair turnover peel pads and they are just like they say little peel pads i think there is a hundred in here Yes, there's a hundred peel pads in here. I've used a couple of them. They're very, very, very gentle. So a very gentle peel that you could use every single day without it irritating your skin, or I don't think it would irritate because it was very gentle. Felt really nice. Has a very nice um, spa scent to it or a medicinal scent, but it doesn't smell bad. It's, it's nice, so. Um, I don't know what else to tell you with that other than that they were very gentle. So if you're looking for a very gentle peel pad and you can find these, um, you might check those out. I think those were $11, if I'm not mistaken. I have my receipts here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. The cleanser was $11.50 and the peel pads uh, was $12.50. So not bad price points at all for that. And then I got this guy here. And this is the Moisture On Deep Water Dual Moisturizing Toner. And um, this was $11.50. And it looks like this here. Um, definitely dual tone or dual, you can see. So it has some oil and some water. And then you shake it up and mix it up. And 
If you've heard me talking about the seven skin method where basically you take a toner and you put it onto your skin seven times in a row, this right here is perfect for that method. And if you've heard of the glass skin method, which is basically just putting on very, very hydrating products that make your skin glow, this definitely gives you that glass skin look. Oh, so nice. I am so glad I found this product. And it doesn't have, it has a little bit of a scent, but not a whole lot. I mean, basically it smells like water, basically. But it's a very, a very, very thin um, toner, as you can see right there. So you just put a little bit in your, your palm, rub it together, and then you pat it onto your skin, and then you just do it seven times. And it just leaves everything so nice and glowy. I don't know if you can see my hand there, how pretty it looks, but yeah, I just love this. I'm so glad I picked this up. The, um, the cleanser, I could probably do without the peel pads. I like my peel pads to be a little bit more aggressive than what those are, but I'll use them. Um, they'll definitely be able to use something I can use in the morning time. Won't go to waste, but anyway. So glad that I picked those up. Those, those were nice. Those were a nice discovery, and they had more products from this brand, but they were out, so um, I don't know. I might look more into that. So anyway, so um, another product that I got there at the Korean skincare section was another product that was on clearance and it's from Skin Food and it's the Cranberry Mask. And I've used this a few times also. It kind of has a little gel consistency to it, but it's just a rinse off mask. So you put it on, you put on a thick layer and you leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes and then you rinse it off. And after you rinse it off, your face will feel so smooth and so soft and just look so glowing. I, I don't know why they had this on clearance, but it's for toning. I don't know if I really noticed any toning effect. But I know that my face felt really smooth and it looked good after I used it. And I've used it twice and it smells really good too. It almost smells like um, jello to me, like the red jello. But yes, it was really pretty. And I've been keeping it in my ice box and been putting it on in the morning time. And when you wake up, a lot of times, especially if you ate a lot of salt the day before, you're a little puffy. So if you have some gel masks like this, put them in the ice box or even some of the sheet um, sheet masks, put them in the ice box and get them cool and then put them on your skin. It really helps with the deep puffing. So I really do like that one. And that one was, how much was that one? That one was on clearance for $6.50, which that's really good, especially for as good as it works. So another product that they were doing a sale on, they were doing a lot of products, either like 20 up to 50%, but they had the Anastasia um, blush trios on sale. And these were on sale for, um, ba la la la. Where is that? I know it's on here. Let's see, there's the Clinique, there's the Essence, the Essence, the Nuni. Well, let's see. Oh, I know why it's not on the receipt. I ordered it. This was on the online order. I think and I don't see where I paid for that. But anyway, I think this was like 20, 18 or $20, something like that. Anyway, here is the colors. And this one is the Blush Trio in Pink Passion. So I thought these colors would be really, really pretty for summer. And I do have this one on right here as my blush today, which I thought doesn't really kind of go with my eye makeup, but I wanted to wear one of these out of here to show you. But there's the colors. Aren't those pretty? So pretty for summer. There they are. They just glide on so smooth. 
very pigmented but yet it blended i didn't notice any streaking or any patchiness it just went on very nice so i did get that and there was like four different colorways i think on that and then another product that i got that i ordered no i got this at the store and what prompted me was um if you would have seen my last haul video i had gotten one of the um, beauty boxes from Walmart and in it was this highlighter here from Wet n Wild and this one was in the color um, Paradise Paradise oh, Paradise Petals so this one um, is a little bit too dark for me to be a highlighter it makes a beautiful blush topper and it makes a beautiful eyeshadow because I do have it on my eyelids over the top of this um, other highlighter that was in that box from CoverGirl. This is the Vitalast Healthy Glow. It's supposed to be a highlighter for the eye or for the cheeks, but again, it's too dark for my cheeks, so I've been putting it on the eyes. And that's it. So that's how I created my eyelet today was this all over the lid. And then I put this over the top. And then I put um, this bronzer that I hauled in the last video from Marc Jacobs in my crease. So it just turned out really, really pretty. Beautiful eye look. So anyway, I wanted, I liked this so much, this, um, this highlighter that I wanted to try one of the lighter colors in the Wet n Wild. So I got this one. And this one is the um, Blossom Glow, and I do have that as my highlighter on today. I mean, look at that. So pretty. And it looks like this here. And there it is. There it is right there. And I also got this one from Wet n Wild, which is, um, gosh, what is this? White Raven? Um, this is from a limited edition one. It's the one that has the skull on it, but I don't like this one as well um, because it's a little bit um, too iridescent for me. I mean, there it looks like it would be white, but when you put it on, it's almost like a pink. See right there? And I don't think that I really care for that, but I might try it on my eyes to see if I like it there. But anyway, I got that. And then I also got from Laura Geller, this was an online order because this was half off and it's one of her highlighters. And this is the Diamond Dust. Unfortunately, I don't like this one either. It's very similar to the Wet n Wild one I just showed you as far as it being the iridescent. And I just don't think that I like that. So you can really tell there how um, pink it is. Let me show you there. So there's those two right there. So I may be um, sending this one back. The Wet n Wild one I may give to my daughter, but I don't know. But that's what those were there. As you can see, one's more pink and one's more purple or lavender. And then... Um, Wet and Wild, not Wet and Wild. NYX was doing buy one, get one free. So I got the NYX Dewy Finish um, Setting Spray. I wanted to give that a try. I haven't tried it yet, so let's do a little demo here and see. Again, another one of those that really saturates the face. They need to be a, the mist needs to be a little bit finer. Now, um, it did not feel like it went on splotchy like that Milani one did. A little bit finer mist, but it's still really saturating. Anyway, I got that. And then I got this here, and the reason why I got this, this is a um, lavender colored concealer. It's a cream base. And the reason why I got this is I have been using this eyeshadow here from Dior. This has been in my collection for several years now. And it was starting to dry up and I wanted to use it because it was expensive. I didn't want it to go to waste. So you can't get this anymore. 
So I was trying to find a replacement for it so when I do run out of this, then I'll have something I can use. But I like using this, it's this here. I put it all over my lid. I'll put my um, primer, eye primer on first, then I'll put this all over the lid. And what that does with this lavender color, it kind of helps to cancel out all the redness and discoloration that I have in my eyelids and just really helps to create a pretty canvas to really start putting and layering on my eyeshadows. So I got this thinking that this would be a good replacement for that, but this I felt like it was a little bit too creamy and it didn't, I guess I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer for it to kind of dry down a little bit before I start putting my eyeshadows on top of it because I put it on and then I started in with my eyeshadows and then my eyeshadows were kind of like sticking to it and weren't smoothing over it as smooth as I would have liked. But it looks like this here. But so I may just have to play with that and maybe just give it a little bit of time to settle down and kind of dry a little bit down. But anyway, so I have that. Um, also in that sale, they had the Clinique um, Lower Lash Mascara on sale for um, $6. So it's just a little tube of mascara, but it has the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest <laughs> um, wand, and it's perfect for doing um, your lower lashes. And I also like to put a little bit of it on my upper lashes just makes really pretty, um, creates a really nice base to start putting other mascaras over the top. And it's really good for the lower lashes because it has that little bitty, 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 bitty brush. <laughs> so you can just give you your little lashes that are lower there. And then I got, um, where's the other one? Oh, here it is. I ordered one and then I picked up in store the other two colors that they had, but from Essence, the little um, eyebrow, make me brow. Um, I don't know what you want to call these to go on the eyebrows. Little wands here. So I have it in here. The brown, which I have in my eyebrows. And then I have it in the blonde and the light brown, I think is what it was. The, um, the next color brown is a little bit too taupey for my eye, eyebrows. Let me see if I can get a, you can kind of swatch on here, the colors. And the brown, the medium brown's a little bit, is too dark. So I can't get it to swatch. There, well, maybe. And then there is the blonde. The blonde is just gonna be too light. But I had to give them a try. They're $3.99. Um, so if one of these colors would work for you, I think you would like it. It's just getting a color, and that's the only three colors they have. They don't have any other colors. Uh, I don't know if I, the swatches are going to be very good on this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> They're not very good swatches. Anyway. So I really was, I thought they would have like the fibers in them, which was what I was wanting. Some eyebrow like this, but that has the fibers. So if you know of anything like that, that's reasonable in price, let me know in the description box. Okay. I think that that was all that I purchased. Um, no, wait, no, wait, no, 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 I've got something else. Now, in my um, haul video from last week, I also got one of those um, beauty boxes from Walmart that was for curly hair. And in it was these little shampoo and conditioners from um, Maui. The Maui Moisture Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. And I really, really, really do like these. So when I went into um, Ulta, I was gonna buy the big bottles of these because it was buy one, get one half. But then I seen 
these, which is the Maui, but this is the one that is specifically for curly hair. And it is the um, Curl Quench Coconut Oil Conditioner for Thick Curly Hair, and then the shampoo. I've only used these once, but I don't, I don't think I like them as well as I liked the other ones that I got in that little box. So I may, I'm gonna use them a couple more times and see how I feel, but I may be giving these away and then getting the, the big size of these. This is the one that's um, the Heal and Hydrate was what these were with the shea butter also in them. But yeah, um, and they're not that expensive. I think one bottle is like $9 and then you got the other one half off. So pretty nice for being drugstore. And I've used some really expensive shampoos and conditioners and I really like those a lot. Okay, so with my online order, they had a little special where if you spent, I think it was $50 and you got this free gift with Ulta. So I was able to get some really good freebies, one of them being um, Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. This is for blemish prone skin. So I'm gonna give this to my daughter for her husband. Also in it was the Origins Plant Scription um, Cream, a really good deluxe size sample of that. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular anti recoil Booster Serum, deluxe size sample of it, and the Pacifica Seafoam Complete Face Wash, a really good deluxe size sample of it, and then the Kapari Coconut Melt. And um, I know this runs $16 or $18 just for this, so that was in there also. And then was this in there or was this a, I don't remember if this was just a sample or if that was in the kit, but it's the Bliss Grapefruit Aloe Body Butter. That was with that order. So yes, that is everything from that Ulta order. And so anyway, so thank you for joining me for day two of Hawpalooza. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon.